Hello and welcome to our daily devotion. Hopefully you have already seen in the e-news or here on, on Facebook or one of our other social medias that um, masks are gonna become optional on Sunday. We will still provide them and anyone who wants to wear them is welcome and obviously we'll still require them in our children's ministry. Um, but because after consulting with the medical advisory team, because uh, Jefferson County and all the surrounding counties are in green, and because we currently uh, worship in numbers that it's safe to socially distance, uh, we've decided to make this policy with this change. Obviously, if the situation changes, if we go into other colors um, or there's a spike, that can uh, quickly revert, but uh, we thought we'd enjoy it while we could. And when you think about these masks, I, they're everywhere in my house. I, I have seasonal ones that a wonderful uh, woman at my last church would make us and make for Brooke. Uh, Brooke had one with uh, shamrocks on it today. And uh, thinking about all the ways that they have protected so many, not, not everyone obviously, um, but been a sign of both wanting to protect ourselves, but also as a powerful symbol of um, wanting to protect our neighbor, whoever that neighbor may be, whether it's my actual neighbors or people in the grocery store or people at church, that uh, it was a symbol of protection and, and of mutual protection, that we are here to take care of each other. You know, it's one of my favorite examples of loving our neighbor as ourselves, our willingness to, to wear these masks in places uh, and to socially distance from each other. And so our, our pastors last week talked about Jesus as a, a protective uh, mother hen, um, as God, as one who wants to uh, offer us protection. And I loved the image of the mother hen and that the, the mother hen is empathetic and uh, actually pretty tough when needed and um, always seeking to protect even when we reject. Um, and so it made me think of one of the analogies I use when um, I found it very difficult to move forward but somehow was able to move forward. I said that God duct taped me together and just pushed me out even when I wasn't ready or didn't want to or didn't think I could, um, kept moving. And so it made me think about a couple of things I'd like you to consider. What, in what ways has God protected you? In what ways can you look back on your life and say, oh, God clearly protected me in this moment, or God is the reason I was able to, to keep myself together or keep my family together or keep moving? But also, what images of God as protector do you use? Um, what have you, when you think of God protecting you, is it like the wing uh, of a mother hen or, or an eagle or a bird? Or uh, is it more like a friend? Or is it about uh, a very strong protector? Is the, what kind of image comes to mind for you uh, when you think of God offering you protection? And um, why is that? helpful to you? How has that strengthened your faith? Um, how has God's protection reminded you that your faith is built on rock and not on sand um, in those difficult moments? So I'd be interested to, to hear some of those stories if anybody wants to share them or talk about them. But uh, the idea that many of us have known God's protection. So next week in this coming upcoming sermon, we'll talk a little bit about how we uh, try to answer the question about when it doesn't seem like God is protecting us. And because sometimes it didn't feel like God was protecting me, um, what do I do in the midst of that? Um, how do I uh, build some resilience and strength um, in my faith in those moments? So. Uh, with the idea that uh, God's protection comes in many forms and in many ways and even in other people, uh, let's go to God who loves and protects us in prayer. God of many forms, we are grateful that you are always with us, that you are always listening to our prayers when we cry out to you. Help us to recognize the ways that you have offered us protection and may you offer protection to all those who are seeking it this day and always. Whether that's protection from literal violence, from emotional violence, from uh, fear or grief or pain or suffering or loneliness. Give us the divine strength we need today to give us resilient spirits 
to help us to be faithful followers of your son Jesus in all that we do, knowing that every choice we make is in fact a gospel choice. And may we feel the comfort of your protective wing over us always. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. As always, my friends, be well, be safe, and may you know God's deep protection.